Hey guys, Savage Crom here, and um, welcome to a new series I'm doing on Imperium Theatre and on my own channel. Uh, this is going to be called It's My Life. Um, basically, what this is going to be is kind of like a storytelling um, series where I'm just going to be telling you a few things that have happened in my quite short life at the moment. I'm, I'm only 13, so I haven't really had that much experience, um, so you're not going to hear any rude stories, anything like that. Just um, about me being a kid and stuff like that. So, um, uh, before I get into the story, the gameplay I have is just a quick MSR, like little like uh, gameplay. Um, I use this because it was it's quite long and because um, it's domination and um, it's got some f a few good clips in it. <coughs> so uh, anyway, let's get to the story. So about three years ago, um, when I was in year five, um, if you guys are watching this in America, basically that's like when I was about ten years old, a year before you get a high school. Um, we went on our first residential. It was we were away from home for five weeks, and in that time, um, I shared a dorm with three of my friends. I'm not going to say their names because if any of them are watching this video, then they'll know that I've talked about them. But anyway, um, so it was a few days into the residential, and um, my friend Lewis. Uh, why did you say his name? Okay, um, yeah, he's called Lewis. But anyway. Um, my friend Lewis, um, he was just uh, looking around the um, dorm where we were staying, and um, he noticed that one of the people who we'll call John, which it wasn't his name, um, he was in the shower. So obviously, we're, we're going to leave him alone. He's in the shower. He's you know doing his own thing. We're doing our own thing. Um, we're just we're just going to leave him to the shower. Um, th another person in the dorm who is called Jim. <laughs> um, he had gone out to just go and get uh, a teacher or something, or just go and try and find something. I don't know what, but anyway, it was just me and Lewis um, in the house, in the dorm. Um, and um, suddenly I just saw Lewis um, creeping towards the shower door, the bathroom door, and I was like, Lewis, what are you doing? And um, this is all of this is true, what I'm saying. He, li he literally went into the shower, opened the door, and stood there and looked at um, John, basically having like a shower, I guess. And his face, John's face, was literally, he was just, you could see his reflection in the mirror. His face was just like, like gobsmacked. He was like, oh my god, what are you doing? And um, yeah, really, I didn't really know how he did this. But anyway, um, we kind of turned this around and sort of made it less weird. By um, basically what we did was when we were um, basically at that time we had we all had scheduled um, like lunch and like tea and things like that. So we all had to go at the same time. Because um, Matt was still having a shower, Lewis decided that um, we should all ditch him and go to the, to the meal because like we had to go. Now Miss thought that. Our teacher thought, oh, he must have already gone, or, you know, we, he just she just slipped past him without knowing. Basically, what happened was, me, um, Lewis, and Jim, like, like Jim's not his name, but anyway, um, we, we all went to eat lunch, and by the time um, John came out of the shower and, like, came to us, we'd just finished our meal. So we were just walking out. He had literally come to sit down with us, and we were just walking out. So you may be thinking, oh, it's a rubbish story. It's basically just about people ditching each other and stuff like that, you know. Well, um, when we got back, um, Lewis again, I don't know why he was doing these things, but he locked the door and um, Jim being Jim, oh no, sorry, John being John, forgot the combination to get into the door. So basically he was locked outside. Now, that's not too bad. He could just go get a T-shirt. But apart from, okay, about the time, it was about 11 o'clock maybe. So we got back from tea. We were just, um, and Matt was still having his tea. And, um, not sorry, 11 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock. And so he had his tea like an hour later than everybody else. So we would have had it maybe eight. It was, so when he came back, it was about half nine, nearly 10 o'clock. So the teachers were all like getting everybody round up in the dorms. They'd already came to our dorm and Lewis had said he was in the toilet. Okay. So he's outside. The door's locked. He can't get in. He doesn't know the combination. There's no one around to let him in. Um, apart from us, we were just kind of going along with it. Um, <laughs> And um, then it starts raining. Now, he's wearing 
nothing but his pyjamas. Because what he had done is, once he finished his tea, he's come in here to get changed. And he'd gone back out because he didn't know where we were. Because we, we were just sort of outside. And by the time we got back, he was still outside. So he was in his pyjamas outside in the rain, okay? Now, that's not a nice feeling. Especially when you haven't got m much, like, to wear. It's freezing cold. And you, you just... You want to be inside warm somewhere. You want to be like in your bed or something like that. And so he was outside. We eventually let him in because you know we're not exactly harsh. But um, like that day we'd been like because it was like an activity residential. We were doing activities like every day and stuff. We'd been doing rafting and I hadn't like we got pretty wet. We fell into the water and stuff. Um, and I hadn't like changed my clothes so they were pretty soaking. So I decided to like change into my pajamas and like take them to the dry room. So now everybody said this before, but basically what I did was I ran to the like the the drying room, like where everything was being put on, and um, bear in mind I only had boxes on at this point, so I was running, um, I was running in my boxes towards the the room where everything was getting dry, only in my boxes, and the worst thing was about fifty people were watching me because there was other schools there and half of my school. So I was just there, running in my boxes, ran to the dry room, and I thought, oh, this can't get any worse. I got into the dry room. The floor was soaking wet. I slipped, fell on my bum, and was there in the middle of everybody with only my boxes on and about 50 people staring at me. That's not a good feeling. And to be honest, it didn't get really any better for any anybody else on the residential. One guy fell off a bed and had to go home because he chipped a tooth. I don't know how that happened. I think so he was on the top of the bed and he somebody turned the light off and he fell off. I don't know, but um, these things happen, I guess, when you're like that age, you're a bit immature and stuff. Um, let me think now. One person, like, they were going to, like, they were doing an assault course and they, like, fell over as they were doing the assault course and they ripped their pants and, like, they had to, like, hold onto a beam and everybody could see their pants were, like, ripped. So that wasn't really fun for them. Um, thankfully, nothing else like embarrassing happened to me while we were at the residential. But I mean, it wasn't a fun time for anybody. I mean, imagine being... I mean, I think mine was the worst. Falling over in only my boxes on the floor. That was a pretty bad time. I mean, I just wanted to get my clothes there. I couldn't be bothered getting changed because I was only going to be out for 10 seconds. I did not realise that... I wasn't just going to be out for 10 seconds. I was going to be out for uh, probably a couple of minutes because I was on my bum trying to get up on the slippery floor. Every time I got up, I was like slipping down and stuff like that. But um, anyway, um, if you guys have been to a residential, please, like if you've gone away from home with like school or like friends or something, please leave in the comments like if you've had any weird experiences because I'm, I, or if you want to hear any more stories, ask me in the uh, comments below and I'll say one for next time. I've got a few, um, already planned to do some more stories but um if you guys want to like ask me any questions i'll answer them and maybe think of a story to do with that subject but um the last thing about the residential was on the last day um of the residential and um, we were all you know like packing bags getting ready to go like home i guess like getting ready to go onto the buses and things and um we're all coming out of like our dorms and we had, la we had, like, opened the door, but it wasn't, like... It's say, like, you open a door, and you can sometimes open it so much that, like, it touches the wall. So, like, you just open it flat. Well, we'd opened it, and there was a little gap between the wall and the door. And we were thinking, oh, why is it not closing properly? There must be some wedge between there. So we all walked out, and as um, John, who had got caught in the shower earlier, um, John was walking out, one of the instructors who was there jumped out from behind the door and went, Rah! And uh, let me just tell you, John's face, it looked like he was going to be sick, okay? He thought, it literally looked like he had seen something, like a zombie or something. He turned around and he went, ah! And he was 10 years old. He screamed one of the loudest screams I've ever heard. And I didn't think the guy meant to, like, frighten him, like, that bad. But, like, especially if you were, if you were that old, like, as a person, like, doing immature things like that. I mean, it was funny for us. We were laughing, like we were on the floor, like laughing, like because we'd all gone out. Um, we we only we didn't see the guy like jump out. So we and Matty was like just going to close the door. Um, 
Matty was one of our um, like teachers. He was just going to close the door, and John was just walking out. And then um, he kind of like jumped out and scared him, and he kind of uh, yeah, he, he, he kind of weed himself is a nice way of putting it. Um, yeah, so um, leave a comment saying what you want to hear.